Hello and welcome to another episode in my Warhammer 40,000 Conquest series. In this episode, we're going to be going over the painting guide in issue 35. So that's the Primaris Chaplain. That's right, this bad boy. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome back. So before we get started, please do make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell icon next to it so you get the notifications every time I upload a video. Also, there's a link in the description below for my Patreon account. I want to do some exclusive content for my Patreon members. So please go there to su support the channel and um, yeah, help the channel grow. Every penny counts. Um, and let's not forget Big Mac Dan's goal, my pal, he does the weekly reviews. So again, link is in the description below. Um, for every, every week he gets the new issue, he cracks it open, he expands the law and all the fluff within, reviews it and gives it to you. So go check him out. He also does a little weekly showcase of his painting projects uh, from the 40,000 Conquest series so go check them out if you're a big Imperial Fist fan. Now let's get started with the painting shall we? Right so what paints will you need? First of all for the base paints you'll need Abdon Black, Lead Belcher, Mephiston Red which will be your main colour apart from the Abaddon Black, Rakoff Flesh, McCrag Blue which is only for one shoulder pad and the Celestial Grey for a couple of details. Then for the shade paints you'll need the non oil for your lead belch areas, Agrax Earth Shade will be used for many different areas and then texture paints Astro Granite for the base. Now I've already primed it with, uh, with Chaos Black Primer Spray um, if you're painting it from the pot make sure you do thin it out and do a good few layers if you have sprayed it like I have then I always do one thin layer of Abaddon Black just to make sure I haven't missed anything and to keep the coat consistent next up you'll want to use your lead belcher so you'll be painting in details of the bolt pistol the staff you've got piping as well parts of the power pack the chains, any buckles, um, and there's a few other details on the armor that you'll want to fill out as well. Next up is Mephiston Red, and this you will need to thin out again. Um, make sure that you do thin it nicely, not too much, otherwise it will just run. And do a good three or four coats of this to get a nice consistent color. Um, on the robes and also on the bolt pistol. There's also a wax seal for the Ofer moment on the gun holster. Retributor armor is next and this will be used for all of the other details so the parts on the chest, the iron halo, uh, little bits on the staff, loads of skull motifs all over the armor as well and there are skulls on the robes as well. And of course not forgetting the little talismans that are hanging from the chain over the robes. Rack our flesh is next and we'll be using this on the parchment areas. Again you'll need to thin this down a bit and do several layers. Um, you'll also want to paint all of the bones and the skull mask as well. and. Uh, the scroll detail on the right shoulder pad. Also don't forget the Oath of Moment that's attached to the gun holster. I should also mention that the pages of the book should be painted with this as well. Next up is McCrack Blue and it literally is just this left shoulder pad. So again, thin it out, do a couple of layers and it should come out nicely. So 
celestial gray is just used for a couple of details like the rosary and the half aquilas on the bolt pistol once you've done that we get on to shading so we'll start with non-oil for this you'll want to paint in all of the areas that you've done lead belcher uh, make sure when you're going around those chains or the robes not to do it too heavy because you don't want to stain too much of the robes you can also paint in the uh, celestial grey areas that you have done as well Then we move on to Agrax Earthshade, and with this we'll be paint, uh, we'll be shading in all of the gold details, uh, the bone areas, and on the long parts of the parchment, you'll just want to lightly shade the crease and the bit around the medallions at the top. Don't forget the pages of the book and the Ofa moment as well. While that's drying, it's a perfect time to snap it off the base and use your tool to spread on some Astro Granite onto the base, remembering that you can texture it if you have enough on there as well. So once the shades have dried, the final detail that you'll need to do is to get your Mephiston Red and paint in the eye lenses as well. Don't be afraid to, to turn the model any which way and if you have the foresight to have the helmet detached until this stage then of course this will be a lot easier to do and there you have it now if you were watching closely you will notice that the right shoulder pad i didn't quite neaten up the uh, black there was a lot of uh, gold spillover that was because i wanted to shade it first before neating it out because i knew it would get a bit messy with shading but there you go, that's how it should look like, roughly, uh, minus the conversion, of course, um, with the current paint scheme. And of course, we will be adding a lot more. So there you have it. So as you can see, it is still quite a basic paint scheme that we're doing at the moment, but we will get on to edge highlighting, recess shading, and so on and so forth in future issues. Um, but it still looks fantastic nonetheless just some base paint and a little bit of shading so it looks great on the table and that's all you really need now let's see what you in the community have done with yours So as you can see, there's tons of inspiration if you haven't done yours already, or if you're thinking about getting one for yourself. So thank you again to everyone who participated in this community focus. And as always, it's fantastic to see your work. Do check out the links in the description below for the Facebook pages, 
um, where a lot of this community work is done. So, you know, if the people in those groups are so helpful, uh, friendly and approachable, so always check them out. So without further ado, thank you again for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.